everybody. Thanks for tuning into Border City Rock Talk. We get great news, great interviews from great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Before I bring on my guest today, Sky Wallace, I just remind you all to hit that guitar icon down there, the subscribe button, smash it, and hit the notification bell so you get uh, notified of when the interviews are coming out. Um, and it's absolutely free, nothing down, nothing a month. So without further ado, I'll bring on Sky Wallace. How are you today? Hey, good. How are you? I'm not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, you're going to be returning here to Richard's Landing, St. Joseph yep. Island. Um, the last time you were here was 2019. What were your impressions after you left? Uh, well, the first time, the very first time I came through was at the Go North Music Festival. So I'd already had this like really awesome time and we'd met a lot of people, uh, like made good friends and like felt really just like the vibe of the whole town was very much our speed. And so we came back in 2019 for the Just Passing Through series, which is right. the same kind of deal as, as this show. Yeah. And uh, it was a cross Canada tour where we were starting on the West Coast opening for Matt Mays. Yeah. And so this show was the first uh, one of that tour. Mm -hmm. And it really set it off in a really good way just because it was like, I don't know, full room, like people really appreciating the music and the listening and like, uh, just, I don't know, filled my cup. So uh, it's just a really nice place to come. There's really good people, really good vibes, and they always take really good care of us. So I'm very stoked. That's awesome. And speaking of Matt Mays, um, I love Matt um, when El Torpedo, Cocaine Calgary, um, that must have been uh, something to tour with him. <laughs> It was amazing. Yeah, he was doing a really cool thing where he was starting out solo and then bringing on new band members for each song. And there was like, at the end, a seven or eight piece band. Uh, oh. It was so sick. It was very inspiring. And he and I still do a lot of like work together and writing and stuff like that. So it's it, one of those ones where it's like you meet your heroes and then they end up being just super nice and you end up being friends. So First it was really cool. Yeah. So um, you've been a busy, busy girl, you and your band. You were in uh, Europe for... Um, Part of the summer germany in the netherlands uh just uh describe how that what must have been well it was unbelievable like we we went to germany uh for just a couple of one-off shows and a showcase at reaper bond festival in hamburg mm -hmm. in 2019 and right. so at that time we met an agent and i'd only ever done like shows in germany which were mostly solo and always uh, booked myself so it was always kind of like who knows what's gonna happen so this yeah. was like the first tour where somebody on the ground had planned it which was incredible I was a little daunted going into it because I'd never even been to a lot of these towns let alone played right. in them so I was like are there gonna be people there <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. but there were just like full rooms like really people were really engaged and like I don't know they really like music over there so it was like a treat the whole time like we kept waiting for like is there going to be a dud on this tour and there wasn't so it was like well for, for unbelievable sure. travel is the best thing in life i always used to tell my daughter that travel is the best education so i would say you can't go around traveling but now let's get on to the tour which starts in a really i believe on friday and then you're hitting the sioux or excuse me um Richards right. landing st joseph island on saturday night uh, doors open i believe at seven tickets are about 20 bucks and the show starts at eight um, you're going to be crossing the country and coming back. I think your last show is at Lee's Palace. Um, what, give us an indication of your kind of set list. Cause uh, one of my favorite songs I'm hoping to see, um, was that killers cover you did. I know you do originals, but you did a really good version of somebody told me, um, how many songs would be in the set list on Saturday night? Well, I just did up a general set list that was about 14 songs but i think for this show we were not playing with an opener so we might kind of split it into two sets and do a little bit longer add yeah. some extra things see how it yeah. goes um which is great because we were we were playing like an hour to 90 minutes in germany so it's kind of been wow. our, our it's nice to be going into a tour having like like gotten all the kinks out and yeah, yeah. kind of feel like a unit together so yeah we'll see i'll see if i can do the killer's cover yeah it's, just, it's been a little bit we haven't practiced it but mm -hmm. anything's possible you know yeah well any, anything you deliver <laughs> will be great um if there's a bit of a delay just to the viewers i'm not sure i'm just getting a notice of saying unstable internet connection but anywho um now speaking of uh, what caught my attention when i was doing uh, some well I, your name came across um you know social media here uh, for a while and tooth and nail I listened to that, which is a great song, but it got my attention because 
it's actually I'm into the hard rocker demographic, like a Dokken kind of thing. I do like indie music as well. Uh, Juliana Hatfield, as we spoke of earlier um, before we went live. But um, tell us about Tooth yeah. and Nail, which was a Dokken album. But tell me, tell us about your version of uh, what Tooth and Nail means to you. Yeah, so this one kind of came as a reminder to myself because that's like this this whole record. I usually write from kind of a narrative sort of format where like I'm telling the story, but not in my body as much. That's just kind of been my, my comfort zone for writing. And this mm -hmm. record is all about like me, my own experiences. So like things like self-doubt, like mental health, relationships, all the stuff and tooth and nail for me was really a reminder to um, just remember to look at your accomplishments and your current self in life through the eyes of your younger self because I feel like that's so easy to lose sight of to like see the 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 breadth of how much you've developed as a person right. as like for me like an artist but like whatever you're doing you've fought for so much you've grown so much and it's so easy to feel like you're spinning your wheels and going nowhere so to like take that look through the eyes of your younger self and be like hmm. fuck yeah that's fierce that's awesome is I think really it gets you out of that like cycle of thinking that is right. you know can be uh self-critical and mm -hmm. not in a constructive way so that was for me what it was about and it was a really empowering song to like write and then record because of Perfect. that yeah um okay so the album's terribly good it is um terribly great um <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah um so there we go i got my funny in um yeah <laughs> so friday it's released as well uh, yeah. where, where can people get uh, the um, the uh, the album? So you can listen to it on all the streaming services. Um, there are vinyls and CDs available if you want to. It's on. I've got like a link in all of the like the bios, uh, yeah. and should be on my website as well. It, it'll direct you to usually six shooter records uh, online. Yeah. We'll be selling the the vinyls. And this is my first release with a label too, so that's pretty right. cool. Uh, yeah. And then also I will have records and CDs at all the shows across the country for the next month. Uh, so that's another way. Yeah. yeah. I'll, um, I'll leave a link in the description bar when I upload this later today. Um, who are your influences? I have a feeling I know, well, I, I shouldn't even say that. Um, I'm assuming that I could be pretty, anyways, I'll just leave it at that. So who were your influences? Oh, I want to know. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Alanis Morissette might be in there. I don't know Ooh. if I'm wrong. No, I love her. So yeah, I'd say, I'd okay. say definitely. It's like, like influences are so funny, right? Because they can creep in in ways that like, like they're so, I'd say that my influences are vast as far as genre yeah. goes, yeah. but it does all kind of like weave itself into like the weaker than so are my favorite band of all time that like right, John right. K. Sampson kind of writing yeah. uh, with like the punk sort of mentality. But then like, you know, for this record, I was also listening to a lot of like radio stuff as far as like seeing how the production could do listening to like metric and the yeah yeah yeah's yeah. um even like you know uh winter sleep and things like that um and i mean you know i'm big into patty smith big into neil young big into like courtney barnett yeah, um yeah. and i was also i was listening I, I don't know if this comes through at all but like the band deaf i was listening to a lot during this yeah, process yeah. so it's kind of yeah. like it all kind of creeps in in different ways and is its own becomes its own thing in its fruition so yeah yeah and you, you do a great uh well you probably do a bunch of patty smith covers but is there going to be one of those in the set list do you think i don't know we have we had been doing because the night yeah. which uh, loved for sure um but yeah i don't know we'll see we'll see we have been working on a new cover or two that we're really excited about so we might venture into that territory maybe you'll debut that at the town hall in richard's landing that would be nice that would be nice maybe that's yeah that sounds like a good idea i'm gonna gun for that it sounds good cool. <laughs> okay um i'll let you go because i know you're getting ready you just probably unpacked your suitcases you're packing them back up oh I've got Ooh, yeah that's that's right it's hard to fit it all in but we're we're doing it it's happening the suitcase yeah so yeah. what's the opposite of unsubscribe subscribe Everybody subscribe to the channel so you get great interviews like I had today with Sky Wallace. Yeah. And yeah, so what do you got to say to the people coming out to see you on Saturday night here on the island? Let's rock, y'all. <laughs> y'all? Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for your time. Um, I Thank look you. To, uh, to meeting you. And um, yeah, break a leg. At, well, no, don't break a leg. But um, no, I won't. Just yeah. <laughs> uh, have a good time on your show in Aurelia. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in a few days. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.